have a government here in the UK who is pushing ahead with a pro-GM agenda whilst ignoring some very important details like the science showing harm to our environment, the science showing harm to health. Bring everyone into the conversation rather than it just being a decision made by some very powerful people. The environmental devastation from GM crops and from the pesticides and herbicides that's used alongside them will be far more devastating here on wildlife, on landscape, than anything in the United States because we're so close together. Your farmers will become contaminated and will lose business because of it, like in our country. You can also expect massive increase of doses of pesticides. I can tell, I can tell that GMO are uh, uh, dangerous or not, or safe or not. There's still a very um, important lack of information about the crop and the chemicals that are used on the crop. When they created the so-called labeling regulations on the European level, on the EU level, back in 2003, um, everything had to be labeled except animal products. When we went from GM feed to natural feed, uh, or non-GM, then our medicine use dropped to a third straight away. Well, what's in here is uh, it's a mixture of what I've grown on my fields last year. It's uh, rye, barley, wheat. And uh, we mix that with soya to get the protein content higher. So we changed to non-GM and uh, we saw these remarkable changes straight away. The scientist in Aarhus University who has looked into my pig stories and they have confirmed that it can be linked to do with glyphosate. They can uh, link my deformed piglets to glyphosate, they can link uh, the diarrhea that disappeared, they can link bloat to glyphosate. We have also seen severe stomach ulcerations where the sows used to be dying and uh, that hasn't appeared either in the three years gone. Two years ago, I took out uh, the GM soya and replaced it with non-GMO soya. Um, and I make the feed for the hens myself. And these two things in combination reduce the diarrhea, uh, the feather picking, and it also reduced the stress with the hens. Uh, it was uh, a completely new world for me. But I believe there is a future if we want to go green, if we say, Maybe not organic, but as I say, we go non-GM. It affects all of us because we all eat it. Everybody, consumers, media, please start asking good questions about GMO. The more we mess around with the genome of, of food um, uh, and food crops, the more we expose ourselves to risks. And these risks are not being assessed.